All right, everybody, we're going to uh, be creating this really cool um, spray paint uh, text effect here in uh, Photoshop. All right, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to download and um, open up this brick wall that I have attached to the assignment. Um, it's black and white brick wall. It is a high resolution, so it'll make it uh, easier to uh, create this effect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, select our text. We're going to pick the font, okay? Um, so they're suggesting the HWD Gothic Round. Uh, we don't uh, have to use that one. Uh, we want to use 72 point. I'm going to just use regular Century Gothic. Um, you want a central alignment. Uh, you want it to 72 point. That's what they want it, how many pixels they want it. And we're going to go ahead and make it in white. So make sure that the font is white. Remember up the options bar, you can change your font at the top. Change your style here, the size of it here, uh, and the alignment here, and the color here. We're going to go ahead and type it, and we're going to type what we need, which is, I'm going to go ahead and write, um, I'm going to write, use, I'm going to write go Chiefs, but first I'm going to do Chiefs. Okay, I'm going to hit the check mark. Okay. And then I'm going to use the free transform to enlarge it um, to the whole, um, to the whole. So I'm going to go to edit, transform, free transform, oh, excuse me, free transform. And I'm going to enlarge it to the whole size of the, just align it in the middle there as big as you can. Okay. All right. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the fill layer. Fill layer is located right here in the layers panel. Now, the difference between the opacity and the fill layer is the opacity will change the how transparent the entire layer is. The fill layer will only change the fill of the font. Um, but if there is a layer style, the layer style will remain visible. Okay, so that is a huge difference. So we're gonna put the full layer down to all the way zero. And what's gonna happen is the font is going to disappear, but what happens is it's still there, but we can't see it because the fill is 100% or is at 0%, so we can't see the, um, the word chiefs, okay? All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a uh, drop shadow, okay? To that, um, to that layer style. So we're going to go to the layer style on the bottom. We're going to use drop shadow, which we've done before. The layer styles, remember the FX right there. Um, and I'm going to reset to default. I'm going to put everything back to beginning. So uh, like if you were to first have opened Photoshop, it'll be the default mode. A lot of times, um, remember, um, any project that you use the drop shadow, it remains the way you last left it. So by resetting to default, you put it back to its kind of factory settings. Okay, so we're going to reset to default so that we're all on the same page. And I'm going to change the color to. Just a second. Okay, I'm going to change it to white and screen. And the opacity at 100%. So I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to color of it. I'm going to change it to white. Change the blending mode to screen, and then I'm going to change the opacity to 100%. Okay, um, from there, the distance to zero, and the spread is at zero. Perfect. And the size should be 101. Oh, it's a little too much. Sorry. So we're going to lower that a little bit. So we just want to faint. Just like so. It's perfect. So you should have something that looks like that. Just like a little faint outline around it. Um, at this point, it doesn't really look like spray paint. 
um, but our glow, our little outer glow there needs to look more like an outline around the shape of the letters. To fix that, um, we're gonna go into the layer style dialog box, which is right here, the bottom, and we're going to click on the contour, it's right here, and we're going to pick the cone contour like so. The cone contour on the thumbnail, okay? The contours affect the transparency of the drop shadows, changing how and where it transitions from opaque to transparent areas. Right away, we can see a much stronger outline around the letter. So you can see it should be really visible. So this is the point where we should be, should be able to see kind of a, a really solid, but slightly fading out outline around the word that you select, okay? Um, so it really defines those edges, those letters, okay? Um, next, we're gonna, um, like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to unclick layer knocks out the drop shadow so that we have the basically the drop shadow stops where the fill is and this right here is going to change that. Uh, it You can see that it kind of duplicates it or continues it at this point, we can actually change the size a little bit so it's not as aggressive. We can go like that, perfect. I'm just gonna change the size just a little bit. And that way we have that, you can see that spray paint effect starting to show up a little bit more. Um, and now we have the outline appearing on both the inside and the outside of that letter, okay? Um, we can adjust the size like I did, okay? Um, it really all depends on uh, the size of your font or the font that you did pick. I know they have, um, in the instructions, they had more of a, um, a lot more of a cartoony font, but that's something that you can actually, um, you're gonna, we're gonna add, change the letters later because we're gonna add another word. So um, what we're gonna do at this point is add some noise to the outline by increasing the noise value to about 25 to 30%, but we're gonna see, depending on the, let's see, you don't wanna go too much. Can already see on that the letters that noise is already starting to show up. It's kind of breaking up. You don't want to go too crazy. So I'm at 27 percent um, between 25. I'm going to probably go 25 percent. Let's go to 25. Oop. 25. You can actually type it in, and you're going to hit. Okay, so you should already see that the little spray, the off spray that happens when you do spray paint on the wall. Hopefully you've never spray painted on the wall, but if you have done it legally, obviously. Um, and then we're gonna hit okay. And from here you can kind of see that it already is starting to have kind of a spray painted effect on there. Um, at this point we're done with our drop sh shadow layer effect. So let's learn how to blend the effect in with the background. Uh, it looks like the text is actually spray painted on, onto the background and not just sitting in front of it. You want it to look like it's laying on top of the wall, like it's actually been sprayed on the wall, not that it's just placed in front, okay? Um, when we're done, I'll show you how to copy the effect and add it to more text while keeping the layer effects and the blending options intact, all right? Okay, so still in the layer styles dialog box. So in order to have that, we just click on the layer style dialog box, which is right here. Okay, so we've reopened it. There it is. And we're gonna go to blending options, which is right here at the top, okay? So what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna drag the, um, you can see right here at the top, right here on the bottom, okay? It says um, bottom of the blending options there are two sets of sliders, these two right here, this layer and the underlying layer. Um, the one on top says this layer and the one says underlying layer, so they're right here. Um, we can use these sliders to blend our text with the background image and then, um, so that's going to create that look as though it's actually on top of the wall, okay? So we're gonna go ahead. Um, you can see that the two sliders below the gradient bar, there's a black slider on the left with a white slider on the right, okay? Um, click the black slider and begin to dragging it towards the right. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the underlying layer and we're gonna start dragging. And you can already see Look at how it's some of the um, the darker areas in the bricks are starting to show. Okay, so you don't want to go too far. Okay, because it will uh, disappear completely. 
okay? As you drag, keep an eye on your text and make sure, and you'll see the dark areas of the background image start to show through, okay? As you drag it further, more and more, the background appears through it, all right? Um, you can split the black slider in half, okay? Um, the problem is that the transitions between the text and the background are very harsh. To create a smoother transition, press and hold uh, alternate on, in Windows or Option in Mac on your keyboard. Click on the right side of the black slider and drag it away from the left slide, and it splits the sliders in two halves. So we're gonna hold, I'm going to hold alternate on mine, and you can see it's splitting in. Oh. I'm trying to. There we go. It's hard to get a hold of, but you can go. So I'm gonna click like that, and you can see that the creates a much smoother um, transition. It once you split it, it's kind of hard to grab it, guys. So you have to split that little tab in half. Okay. You want to adjust them so they create a smooth transition. So right now let's do theirs is a little so there's this 10. And it's 60s. So I'm not mine, I'm gonna do a little less than 10. I'm gonna do two, okay? So you can see on yours. Make sure to check out your letters, and you can see that it's starting to show through that um, the brick wall and the spray paint, like it's missed some area, so it has a lot more realistic feel to it. Um, adjust each half of the slider until you're happy with the effect. Right? There are no specific values to use here since it will be depend on your background image. All right, so in my case, I set it to 3 and 66, but you don't have to do that. Um, you know. Um, and with the text now blending with the image, uh, we get a more realistic looking spray paint effect. Okay, so at this point, we can close the layer style log box, the layer style dialog box, we hit OK, and we've um, created that effect on it already. Okay, um, in the layers panel, we now see our drop shadow listed as an effect below the type layer. Okay, we also see a blending option icon besides the FX icon. Okay, right here. So you see. The layer styles, we see the FX, and you see right here the blending options icon between the egg. This tells us that we also have some advanced blending options applied to the layer, okay, not just the drop shadow, okay? And how do we duplicate effect? Adding more spray painted text is easy. All we need to do is duplicate our type layer, simply drag it down, and add the new layer icon to the bottom layer, okay? So just duplicate the layer. There we go. We can move the words apart like so. So I'm going to change mine to and from here. I'm going to resize it. it so we can see it there we go cool and then i'm going to move to the bottom one further up there we go it's aligned like that okay so it's easy all you got to do is duplicate that layer okay um now we have the two um the two words, it's very easy. You just highlight if you want to change. Remember, if you want to change the word, you spell it wrong. You just highlight your text, and you can make it anything you want. And that effect is going to continue with that um, with that layer, okay? So you obviously, you see I've resized everything. I'm happy with uh, the way everything is laid out. You can also, on this one, change. See how the ES kind of disappears? You can go back to the blending options if you want. So that you go to your blending uh, options right here it will open that dialog box and we can change it per layer we don't have to just do 
don't have to just do that layer and so we can see that s a little more as you can see there we can hit okay so that s is a little more visible we can hit okay depending on where uh, okay so you can change them individually as well once you duplicated them okay so now we're going to talk about how to change the color of the spray paint okay double click on the drop shadow layer effect to change the color of spray paint um, on the words drop shadow below the type layer. If you have more than one type layer as I do, make sure that you're double clicking on the one you want to edit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to double click. There it is. We're going to go to the color and you can pick. Um, oh, what are they doing here? All right, so if I want to change that color, okay, all I have to do is double click on my layer and go to your uh, drop shadow. And you'll see I can change that color very simply. I'm going to pick something bright, maybe a red. Let's do the red one. Okay, so you can just click on that layer, uh, color layer, and you can do both for both. And you don't have to do them um, uh, both the same color if you don't like. Now, if the layers are a little too dark or they're not light enough or you need them to be more visible, you can always go back into the drop shadow, um, back onto the... The contour, hold on, there you go. The blending options is what I mean. And you can change. So they're a little more visible. You can hit okay. All you gotta do is go to the Chiefs, double click, and you wanna go to the drop shadow, pick color. You can make any color that you want. I'll make mine yellow so it stands out a little bit. And you can see there I have my spray paint effect uh, in Photoshop. And like I said, it's very easy to duplicate the letters, change anything you want. From here, you can change the word. You can resize everything. You can go ahead and click on both. You can hit transformation mode, and we can... It look a little more realistic. There you go. And that is how we got that spray paint effect in Photoshop. Okay, so make sure to save your work and turn it in.